Exactly. The other thing I would add is that this also relates to choosing a law school. Yes. A lot of people want to simply go to the best law school possible and they'll choose one ranked 30 over one ranked 40, even if the lower ranked one gives you a ton more scholarship money. And so I would encourage oh, folks <laughs> to yeah, definitely rethink that sometimes. Like, don't get sucked in by the rankings because the rankings, their criteria are not necessarily your criteria. The yes. criteria, if you look into it, yes. it's actually kind of absurd. Like yes. the number of books in the library when everything yes. is digital anyway. The number of students that are there, the number of students who get a job, um, how quickly they get a job after they graduate, like other external factors that have nothing to do with the LSAT, um, with the LSAT or the, co or the college applicant go play a role in U.S. News and World Report rankings. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.